Hi, I'm Colton with Porsche Center Calgary and here today with a very exciting piece of pre-owned inventory. This one is a 2022 911 GT3 and uh, yeah, what, what an impressive machine. Let's talk, uh, I guess, a little bit about just what a GT3 is. I'm sure you already know, but I'll give you a quick rundown and then we'll talk about this one in particular. Uh, so the GT3 is kind of the uh, nearly the raciest version of a 911 that you can get. So you have, you know, your Carrera, Carrera S is more power, Carrera GTS, more power again, uh, and some more performance features. And then you have your turbo, which is more power, but arguably a little bit more GT. Uh, and then you get to uh, the one with GT in the name, GT3, where uh, it's kind of the, you know, the racetrack oriented car. You make some sacrifices in terms of comfort uh, to gain performance. Uh, certainly aesthetically, you can tell right away, it's a little bit uh, unique, a little bit special, um, even more so than a regular 911 would be. Um, this one is the uh, the 992 generation. So the 911 was fully redesigned for 2020. Uh, the internal designation of that uh, variant being 992, and then they you know do different iterations of that car. Um, for 2022, they did the GT3 version, which looks like this compared to the one it replaced, which was the 991. Uh, a lot of similarities, but a lot of differences too. The most obvious one stylistically, uh, when you look at the front of the car, you've got those big nostrils on on the front definitely changes the vibe up on the front, makes it look a little bit more aggressive than the one it replace, uh, replaced. And then in back, the old car had a really nice looking wing as well, uh, kind of a signature of the GT3. But with this one, it gets uh, quite, a more, quite a bit more aggressive um, swan neck wing, which is uh, really neat mounted. Uh, the wing itself being mounted on uh, kind of underneath those, um, those hooks, for lack of a better term, uh, as opposed to the wing just being mounted on top of the, the struts, right? So it makes for a really unique look. Uh, and changes the, the aerodynamics uh, of the car quite a bit. So when we talk about performance enhancements from the 991 to the 992, um, horsepower wise, they're virtually the same. And they both use a uh, four liter uh, naturally aspirated flat, uh, flat six, making in, in the 991, it was 500 horsepower. In the 992, it's 502. Well, it's basically the same horsepower. However, the aerodynamic improvements of this car are such that the track times are significantly faster. Performance is really a lot better than that car they change up the suspension quite a bit as well but it's yeah really the the arrow that tells the story with this one it's visually you can see right away as i was saying rear end is very different the rear kind of diffuser uh very detailed there's a lot going on there and it's it's kind of in those ways that they gain the performance with this model over the previous one more so than just outright power so anyways that's a brief uh, kind of explanation of GT3 and specifically 992, uh, but let's talk more specifically about the one I'm standing next to today. So this is GT Silver Metallic, which is my personal favorite color. It looks awesome. Uh, really picks up the light around it very, very well, depending on uh, what time of day the color looks a little bit different, but it's, it's always very rich, which I appreciate kind of the classic, classic silver color. And then these wheels, uh, 20 inches in the front, 22 inches in the rear, they are a center locking wheel. Uh, Virtually, yeah, all the GT3s would have this wheel, but in various different kinds of finishes. You could pick what, what you wanted. Uh, my personal favorite is just to stick with a silver wheel. We see a whole lot of black wheels nowadays, and you can even do gold ones on this car. Uh, but I like a silver wheel. I think it looks, looks really good on the car. And then this one, the previous owner, uh, put some paint protection film on. When I say some, I mean quite a bit. So it's quite common for our customers to wrap, you know, the front end of the, of the car in paint protection film to protect from, from rock chips. Um, not so common on, on our regular cars, but not entirely uncommon, I guess, on GT3s. Uh, this one, the whole car is wrapped. So you don't have to be scared of getting, you know, rock chips or little, um, you know, sand blasts on it that's gonna affect the paint. Everything is entirely covered. So you've got that, you know, sacrificial layer on there. So that you're all, you'll always have the paint, uh, you know, in really, really good condition. So great to see and a nice value when you're buying uh, a car pre-owned. You don't have to worry about putting that on and you don't have to worry about where has it been? What might it look like? You know, let me come and see it in person. I don't know. You know, it's good. It's fully wrapped, fully protected. So that's that's awesome. Uh, some other stuff outside. Um, we talked about the film. Oh, so something you can't see that I really like, a small detail, is the exclusive design fuel filler cap. So when you open up that uh, gas uh, cover, rather than just having basic black plastic, you've got the exclusive design, which is yeah, a little bit more detailed, certainly more premium feeling and that is a spot that you you know physically interact with on the car so nice nice to have that feel a little bit fancier uh, than you get on just you know your your everyday car uh, also around back 
It has the model designation delete, so it says Porsche on there. It doesn't say anything else. It doesn't say GT3. It's just a little bit cleaner in the back. I like kind of that subtle look, but to each their own. If you wanted to put that back on, you certainly could. You can buy that designation in the, in the parts department and we can install it for you if that bit is important. Uh, as well, on the note of the uh, of the fuel, this has the extended range fuel tank, so a 90 liter tank in, uh, in this one, which yeah, can be nice for track use as well. Um, outside, I think that was about it. Well, arguably outside or in, but the uh, the front axle lift is on this car. So uh, being a GT3, it's lower to the ground than the regular cars would be. And uh, if you are gonna be driving it out on the street, you know, pulling into different parking lots, up onto driveways, over speed bumps, uh, really nice to have that button inside to press to raise up the front axle. It happens super quickly. Uh, you can even program specific locations into the GPS so the car knows you are there and automatically lifts it up for you. Pretty cool feature they added for 992. That's in this car, really, really neat. Uh, but let's move on to the inside. This um, is quite a uniquely optioned car. I love extra leather stuff and Porsche lets you add so much of it. Uh, it really gets me excited. Some people may think it's insignificant, but to me it's, it is significant. You know, other brands just don't let you do it. And there's so much of a car that's, that's plastic and there are different grades of plastic too, which not everybody appreciates. Even our plastics are nice, but the fact that you can wrap the stuff in leather is just really cool and really unique to, to our brand. So um, starting with, with the basics, I guess, it is the uh, leather slash Racetex interior. So uh, we used to have Alcantara. Racetex is kind of the, the newer version of, of that same thing. It, it's a synthetic suede material, very racy. There's uh, a combination of leather and that throughout the cabin here. So um, with the seats, for example, some will be leather, but the seat inserts will be race techs. On the doors, you have some leather, you have some race techs, but it's very nicely executed in there. Um, so your dashboard is leather. Uh, it also has the contrasting stitch in, uh, in GT Silver, matching the exterior of the car, which is yeah awesome. Uh, but then some of the extra bits I talked about. So this one, um, things like the fuse box cover is leather wrapped with a contrast stitch. The, uh, the air vents leather wrapped with the contrasting stitch on there. Uh, even that, that piece where you, know, you have the mirror, uh, the rear view mirror above you, and then there's a piece of plastic that, that kind of goes from the mirror onto the glass of, uh, of the windshield. That's leather wrapped with a contrast stitch, just things that you don't see on, uh, on most vehicles. There was a couple of other things I wanted to touch on, but yeah, little little things that n nobody would ever bother or even pay attention to, even those things wrapped in leather and added the contrast stitch, or the door sill was, was another one, uh, leather with a contrast stitch. Really, really cool to see. It just shows how uh, how much care is put into the to the specification of, of the car, making it again just that, that much more special than uh, a 911 or a GT3 already is. Really, really neat. I love that stuff. Steering wheel is leather, which isn't necessarily the case. Sometimes those are race techs on the GT3. That would be the, the standard, uh, but switched over to the leather. The race techs arguably is, you know, grippy again, sporty, racy, um, you know, material, but I still like the leather. I think it holds up a little bit better than the race techs. If, if we're being honest uh, with the part that you're actually touching, you know, the oils from your hands can wear that out uh, in a way that you just don't get with leather. It, it wears a little bit more nicely, in, in my opinion. Uh, the gear lever is the same. Uh, and I suppose I haven't talked about the transmission on this car, but it is the uh, seven speed PD PDK dual clutch transmission. These cars can be ordered with PDK or manual, um, but this particular one is PDK. That gear lever on this generation almost looks like a manual gear lever, but it is the, uh, the PDK uh, dual clutch automatic transmission. Uh, other stuff in there, the, uh, the silver uh, seat belts as well to match that contrast stitch, uh, which I really like. The black interior is great, but it can be a little bit too much. So to have the stitching and the color belts, I think is, is a nice touch. Uh, and the seats, of course, are the full carbon bucket seats. So they don't move around a whole lot. You can slide them forward and back and you can raise them up and down, but you don't have all the power adjustments that you might have in uh, you know, our 14 or 18 way seats. However, they are much lighter weight and uh, they really hold on to you <laughs> nice and snug. I fit quite fine in the seat. To be honest, most people do. Some people will find they're more difficult to get in and out of. So definitely something to consider there. But uh, most tend to uh, tend to want those seats when they're looking at the GT3s in particular. Uh, also the uh, fire extinguisher was added, which most people will never use. Uh, but if you are on the racetrack, it could come in handy and uh, again, makes it feel racier in the car. So I like that. Cool to see on these uh, on these cars. Uh, the aluminum pedals as well, sportier, uh, sportier grippier um, pedals than would be standard. Uh, the steering column casing was another little leather detail I didn't mention earlier. Uh, the sun visors too are in race tech. So your sun visor would be, but the standard for your, um, yeah, the headliners, race tech, but sorry, the sun visors would be uh, vinyl. So I always like to see those option to race tech so you have that kind of cohesive uh, you know, material uh, throughout the full, full 
you know, uh, overhead of, uh, of the car. Uh, what else did I want to mention here? Oh, the armrest too was, uh, was optioned to be Racetex with the um, Porsche Crest on it. Another subtle touch that is really cool. And then uh, auto dimming mirrors as well, not a standard feature, but optioned on this one. Uh, and then something that a lot of people don't realize is an option on the GT3s is the uh, Chrono having the uh, stopwatch on the dash, but that was optioned here. I always encourage people to put that on, uh, on the cars. Um, as well, this one, as I mentioned, the trade-in, the pre-owned inventory, the pre-owned piece of inventory about 3500 kilometers and now porsche approved certified pre-owned so that means it comes with extra warranty a brand new car would get four years or 80,000 kilometers that gets extended with the certified program to six years and unlimited kilometers so uh, in the case of this car in particular the original in-service date was september the 30th of uh, what was it 2021 i guess so so that gives you until september 30th 2027 unlimited kilometers and uh, comprehensive warranty coverage so some great value there uh, and really you know people will often uh, compare of course used vehicle versus a new one uh, and you can certainly do that you can you can look at the new one and, and you can still even build them online and see what it would cost and the warranty would come with etc but honestly uh, you can't really get these anymore the, the, the production if it's not done now uh, will be done very soon so that option isn't really available anymore However, this one is, it's available right here. You can have it, you can take it home tomorrow if you like. And, uh, and it has that extended, uh, extended warranty. It has the full wrap covering the entire car. So definitely, definitely unique opportunity there. Even if you're patient and say, it's fine, I can wait. I want the new one. Uh, um, you know, I, I, I'd rather, um, rather spec it out. Well, you, you can't, it's not an option anymore, uh, but this one is. So yeah, cool, cool opportunity. And it'll be on display here when we're done. Most likely it'll be in our showroom very soon. So if you're interested, please do give us a call or uh, pay us a visit, come check it out. Thanks very much for watching.